only covering the Northwest Arkansas community. This is KNWA News at 6. Winter weather is headed our way and road crews are on standby to make sure drivers are safe tomorrow. Good evening and thanks for joining us. I'm Kelly O'Neill. KNWA's Katie Devilla is live in Fayetteville with what you need to know before you hit the roads. Hey, Katie. Hey Kelly, well you can see here behind me that the roads are looking fine tonight, but as Melissa was saying, tomorrow here on Dixon Street, it may be a whole different story. Now the last time that we had these icy road conditions, back in January, Dixon Street turned into a complete ice rink. You can see here that cars were literally sliding right into each other and crashing at the bottom of the hill. Now both Benton and Washington County road crews say because of the rain, they're unable to pre-treat the roads today, but crews will be out early in the morning. Danny Stracely with the Arkansas Department of Transportation tells me their guys are keeping a very close eye on the temperatures. Right before we hit below freezing tonight, trucks will be piling close to 150 pounds of salt per mile on the highway. And the Fayetteville Fizzle may throw us for a curve sometimes, but road crews are always prepared and ready to go at any moment. We've almost been um, all dressed up and nowhere to go when you think about it because we've been prepared and ready to launch, but then it's turned out to be nothing. Uh, when we'd rather have that be the case than not be prepared on the um, front end. If you do head out tomorrow, you can check those road conditions straight from your phone. iDrive Arkansas app shows you where those winter uh, roads are being affected and if there's any accidents that you need to avoid. You can also download our app at NWA Authority. And that's all available on the App Store. And we'll be keep you up to date on those road conditions um, and any weather that persists tomorrow. We're live in Fayetteville tonight. Katie DeVilla, KNWA, Northwest Arkansas News. All right, Katie, thank you. Now, let's take a live look at our dot map for the most up-to-date road conditions right here. We're seeing all green lines, meaning that the roads are clear. If the roads aren't clear, you can use the Traveler Information tab on the right to find alternative routes to your destination. To navigate through this map yourself, head over to our website, nwahomepage.com. So far, there have been two church services canceled in Rogers tomorrow. The United Methodist Church in Rogers has canceled their 815 service as well as their Sunday school uh, Sunday school class Sunday morning, but the church says they will continue with their 1030 service as scheduled. An active list of all community closings is on our website, nwahomepage.com. In the River Valley tonight, a Fort Smith man is dead and a suspect is in custody following a shooting last night in Crawford County. According to Sheriff Ron Brown, it happened at the 1400 block of Sunnyside Road between Van Buren and Alma. The victim was identified as 33-year-old Kevin Getridge. When deputies arrived, they found Getridge on a bed covered in blood. Deputies initiated CPR, but he was pronounced dead on the scene. Police have arrested 36-year-old Miranda Rosinos for the murder. She lived at the residence where the shooting took place. Rosinos was booked into the Crawford County Detention Center on a first-degree murder charge. In Benton County, police continue to search for a suspect that broke into several cars at four separate preschools. Those cars were broken into through unlocked doors or by breaking the windows. Purses and other valuables were stolen. This happened Thursday morning at Little Einstein's Bright Beginnings, La Pete and Stepping Stone Daycare. The suspect targeted cars as the owners went inside the business to drop off their child, and police say they're still looking for the person responsible. Now you're taking a live look at the suspect identified by police. We're told this person used a credit card stolen from one of the cars at a local store. Also happening in Benton County, a precautionary boil order has been lifted for homeowners in Rogers. Due to routine maintenance to water storage tanks by the Benton County Water Authority, all customers who, have, who live east of Highway 12 Bridge were affected during the boil order. <coughs> Benton County Water Authority number, number 5 advised these residents to boil all water used for drinking, cooking, making ice, brushing teeth, or washing dishes for one minute before using. In Fayetteville, a popular spot in one Washington County city is growing to meet the needs of the community. KNWA's Lance Lloyd in Fayetteville for the official groundbreaking of the public library expansion this morning. The Fayetteville Public Library broke ground at a more than 82,000 square foot expansion center. You can see it here behind me. It's going to double the size of the youth services and feature a 700 seat multi-purpose center and much, much more. What a great day! 
Fayetteville voters gave the nod to expand the public library, and hundreds of locals gathered to kick off the official groundbreaking. After we opened the new library in 2005, we realized pretty quickly that uh, we needed more space. Over 180 people visit the public library every hour. Our programs and services are really at the max. Steve Litzinger with the Fayetteville Public Library says, with a growing city comes a growing opportunity. We'll be able to add a number of new programs for children and for teens and for adults as well. Local and state lawmakers like Congressman Steve Womack all agree this expansion makes way for the future of the community. But this library is about to take a major step forward into the future and expand to a lot of other areas that are reflective of what's going on in the community. For the parents and children who already enjoy what the library has to offer, the expansion is something worth dancing for. This is an impactful library, a place where the community gathers, a, a place where people feel safe and they're able to come, they're able to gain that knowledge, expand their knowledge base. What a great place we have here in Fayetteville. In Fayetteville, Lance Lloyd, KNWA, Northwest Arkansas News. All right, thank you so much, Lance. Well, coming up, one of the largest consignment sales in the area is set to kick off tomorrow in Springdale. To be able to purchase things that are new or like new quality for a fraction of the cost that you would in a retail store is just, it's, it's a huge benefit to this community. And I think that, um, that we've really just blessed a lot of families. See what sneak peek they offered today. Plus, opening day for the Naturals is just a little over a month away. How the team is gearing up, that's coming up. But first, Melissa? Well, we have a winter weather advisory for much of the area, and we are expecting snow to accumulate. When does it move in, and is it going to be affecting your travel plans? It sure will. I'll tell you how long when we return. Closed captioning is sponsored by Air Control. Washington Regional Urgent Care is here for you. Learn more at wregional.com slash urgent care. Mattress King. Nobody beats the king. Where Arkansas buys temper. Last chance offer and soon. Get a Sealy Posturepedic King or Queen for the price of a twin size mattress of the same model while supplies last. Nobody beats the king. Mattress King. And with great deals on all these Toyotas, you can make plans to go anywhere. Anywhere. Hello? During the Ready, Set, Go sales event, get $1,000 customer cash or qualified buyers get 1.9% APR financing for 60 months on a new 2019 Tacoma. Ready, set, go get your Toyota today. Toyota, let's go places. Show me the crown. Look at you. When you talk, your TV listens. That's cool. Downloading 24 tunes in one second. Booyah. Locking your doors with your phone. Oh, yeah. Jim and Melissa, you are cool. Hi, Carol. Let's go. Get Contra TV, 100 meg internet, and now home life automation for $99.99 a month. Free HD camera included. Mattress King. Nobody beats the king. Where Arkansas buys temper. Last chance offer and soon. Get a Sealy Posturepedic King or Queen for the price of a twin size mattress of the same model while supplies last. Nobody beats the king. Mattress King. A lot of people don't know this, but I auditioned to be on Saturday Night Live 44 times. MySpace, Friendster, go outside! Is this the front? Does that look like the front? I do impressions, but I don't try to do the voice. I never thought like they got me. That was sensual. I love this part. Moments when I love my job. World of Dance moves to its new night, Sunday, 8, 7 central on NBC. Now, your weather authority forecast with meteorologist Melissa Hall. We've been talking about the potential for winter, we winter weather and an Arctic cold front moving in, and you can see how cold it is. It's five degrees below zero in Bismarck. These temperatures, this cold, it is slowly making its way here, and as it does, 
That's not the half of it. Look at the wind chill values. Feels like it's below zero in Denver. They are getting all sorts of snow. And as you can see, it's kind of zonal. That's what we call it when it just comes straight across. And the bulk of the activity is going to stay to our north. Poor Missouri, you're going to get hit again. Kansas City, St. Louis, you're already seeing it. And here, we're going to see it as well. We've got showers popping up. So we got some moisture coming up from the south. As that moisture comes up and that Arctic front moves in, we have a winter weather advisory in place because we're expecting to see rain switch to a little bit of sleet and then switch over to snow in the middle of the night. Now this winter weather advisory just kicked off at 6 p.m. but it lasts through noon tomorrow. It Looks like most of that precipitation will be out of here right after noon as well. Okay, now this till line is the freezing line. This is the game banker, is where this freezing line sets up. So 9 a.m. tomorrow, we got snow across the area. Notice the river valley staying mainly just rain. And I think that's how it's going to play out. That freezing line, I think it's going to get hung up somewhere in between Benton County and Washington County, the tunnels. So somewhere in that general area, maybe even 412. A lot of these systems like to get hung up right around there. But notice that freezing line staying below us for quite a while. We stay cold with this. And we're expecting wind chills by Monday to be in that below zero category. So here's what we're looking at. A light drizzle and sleet overnight tonight, and then a switch over around 3 a.m. to snow, one to two inches. You could have a couple of pockets with even more. And like I said, in the River Valley, we're expecting just mainly rain with this. That Bobby Hopper Tunnel, I don't think we'll see much winter weather past it. Now, the wind chills are going to be felt all the way around. Look at Monday morning, five, seven below across the area. I'm never ready for that. I don't know about you, but by Tuesday morning, it's not much better. We're in the single digits. At least we're not below zero. We don't warm back up until later in the week. I have this on my um, social media pages, dressing for cold weather. Moms, you might want to check it out because if your kid's like my kid, he's going to try to get out the door in clothes that are not going to keep him prepared. And speaking about being prepared, download the NWA Weather Authority app because all those church closings that I anticipate tomorrow, we'll have them right there for you. And if this winter weather, if we do end up seeing two inches of snow or so, well, that's going to be a game changer, Kelly, because the temperatures don't warm back up. And with those dangerous wind chills Monday and things staying in the 20s, we could possibly even see school closed on Monday morning, just depending on how this all ends up playing out. But it is Arkansas. You never know with the winter weather. As a meteorologist, I'll tell you, you take a poll of meteorologists, we're going to tell you this is the hardest thing to forecast for because you never know about that freezing line. All right, we'll be tracking this all, all weekend night. long, yes. so stay with us. Well, turning over to sports now, Alyssa Orange joins us on the Pig Trail Nation set. Hey, Alyssa. Well, hey there, Kelly. A legendary day on the Hill today as Arkansas celebrated the 25th anniversary of the 1994 National Championship team. And, of course, the current Hogs getting a win over Ole Miss to add to the celebration. Highlights coming up next in your Pig Trail Nation report. Join the conversation. Like the KNWA Facebook page now. Back home, the world seems small. Here, it has expanded. I've been challenged and have grown in knowledge and in spirit. I've been part of something bigger, something special. Surrounded and supported by new brothers and sisters who were once strangers. And my sense of community and my role in it has grown too. Harding University, a community of mission. To me, timing is everything. So, when I needed my home painted, I called Serta Pro Painters. Expert service from professional painters who work around my routine and arrive right on time. Now, every room is painted exactly the way I wanted, with everything back in place. Finished right on time. Serta Pro Painters. We do painting, you do life. Get a free home estimate at certapro.com. Meat, bone, and fire. Two and a half million years hasn't stopped us from craving it. So don't let tonight come into Longhorn for our bone-in bold flavors, like our Outlaw Ribeye, the meatier 18-ounce T-bone, and everyone's favorite, grilled lamb chops. Back for a limited time. The feeling, the flavor, the place. Longhorn Steakhouse. You can't fake steak. 
Looking for an exciting career opportunity? KNWA is accepting applications for account executive positions now. Apply at nwahomepage.com or upload your resume to the web address shown here. KNWA is an equal opportunity employer. Coming up Sunday on the Pig Trail Show, we are stepping out of the studio and into the kitchen with Razorback Peyton Chadwick and one of her favorite recipes. And I promise it tastes amazing. Sunday night at 1030 on the Pig Trail. Now, from Fayetteville, high on the hill, this is your Pig Trail Nation report. Sponsored by Crane Automotive Team. A tribute to 25 years since Arkansas defeated Duke to win the 1994 National Championship. Nolan Richardson, Lee Wilson, Al Dillard, Clint McDaniel all in attendance today to cap off a weekend of festivities. And the current Razorback team wanting nothing more than to break a six-game losing streak and honor the champions with a win over Ole Miss this afternoon. Mike Anderson, an assistant on that 94 team, said he had some of the guys talk to his players before the game, and it seemed to help. Mason Jones here for three. Arkansas will take an 11 to 10 lead. Terrence Davis, though, will answer for the Rebels with this three. Ole Miss takes an eight point lead in the first. Hogs battle back. Jones to Daniel Gafford, slamming it down. Arkansas trailed by one at the break. Second half now, back to back ball game. 21 lead changes this afternoon. Mason Jones, another three. He had six today. That makes it 50 to 49. Inside a minute to play. Jalen Harris to Gafford. The Hogs now down by just one. 23 seconds. Rebels here lose the ball. Possession arrow in favor of the Razorbacks. 18 seconds left. Now Harris looking. Sees a lane. Gets the shot. Arkansas up 74 73. Rebels inbound the ball. Five seconds to go. Cannot answer. 74 73 will be the final. A game going down to the wire. Finally going Arkansas's way. A big win over a very good Ole Miss team today. Feels real good. Uh, the energy in the locker room has changed a bunch, uh, especially to do it in front of the 94 team. Uh, it, it's, it was a great feeling, especially right after the game. I mean, it's a feeling of relief because, you know, we thought we let basically the program down and everything because, you know, we weren't getting the wins that we needed. So we just had to come out and we had to play basketball and finally get us one of us, try to finally break that losing streak because, you know, nobody likes losing, especially not us. After the game, Mike Anderson said it was a special. It was special to get a win with the 1994 national championship team in the building. We had the opportunity to catch up with Coach Nolan Richardson and some of the players this morning. I am so sick of the fact that I didn't win two or three or four championships because I was in a position to win multiple championships. And that was because we had a good coaching group, a good coaching staff, and we had good players. This is something that people's going to always talk about because, you know, we was once the first to do it. And uh, I hope we're not the last, uh, but uh, this is something that you can't never get tired of talking about. You can hear from all of them over on our website. Game three uh, for the Diamond Hogs in their series with Stony Brook this afternoon. Connor Nolan starting on the mound today for the Razorbacks, trying to help his team get the sweep. Nolan going three innings, giving up six hits, three runs, and striking out one on the day. You know, the Hogs had a 4-3 to three lead before they decided to pull away. Two home runs by Jack Kinley, Kristen Franklin, Trevor Ezell, both with home runs as well as the Hogs win it 15 to 7 and get the sweep and quickly over at Bogle Park the Woopig Classic wrapping up the ladies currently playing at Boston right now and that is a look at that score. We're going to have much more for you coming up tonight. Kelly, let's head back to you. All right, thanks so much. Well, the Diamond Hogs aren't the only ones ready for baseball season. See why fans were rushing to Arvis Ballpark for the 2019 season today. That's coming up next on KNWA News at 6. Friendship Community Care, serving children and adults in Arkansas with disabilities and complex support needs. What makes Hardy's breakfast taste so great? We only use the best ingredients made by the best hands. I wonder what else those hands can do. Ooh, new coffee. Whoa, Try our new yeah. coffee. Hardy's because it tastes better. Injured? Let's talk about Arkansas. Rainwater Holes and Section is an Arkansas law firm filled with Arkansas lawyers helping Arkansas people. We're right here, ready to serve and protect the people of Arkansas. We won't charge you a penny unless we recover money for you. If you've been injured, 
We're local lawyers with a local number. Anywhere in the state, dial 8-888-8888. Thank you to our viewers who helped raise over $15,000 for Arkansas Children's Northwest. You made the Give Kids a Miracle Telethon a success, and we couldn't have done it without you. Presented by Biotech Pharmacal on KNWA. Hardy's breakfast tastes so great, we only use the best ingredients made by the best hands. I wonder what else those hands can do. Ooh, new coffee. Oh, Try our new yeah. coffee. Hardy's because it tastes better. A lot of people don't know this, but I auditioned to be on Saturday Night Live 44 times. MySpace, Friendster, go outside. Is this the front? Does that look like the front? I do impressions, but I don't try to do the voice. I never thought like they got me. That was sensual. I love this part. Ah! Moments when I love my job. World of Dance moves to its new night, Sunday, 8, 7 Central on NBC. You're watching KNWA News at 6. A popular NWA consignment store hosted its pre-sale event today before opening to the public. Ray Lana's of Northwest Arkansas held its largest event in company history with over 170,000 items this year. Ray Lana's is reselling children's clothing, toys, furniture, and much more under one roof at 1106 North Old Missouri Road. Those behind the event say it's a way for families to help other families by offering affordable items for kids. It has been just something that has impacted this community, you know, to be able to purchase things that are new or like new quality for a fraction of the cost that you would in a retail store is just, it's, it's a huge benefit to this community and I think that, um, that we've really just blessed a lot of families. The consignment store opens to the public on Sunday at noon. Also happening today, the Northwest Arkansas Naturals hosted their annual open house. Fans gathered at Arvis Ballpark to enjoy the free event and also get in on some fun. The ballpark opened the batting cages downstairs and blew up inflatables for the kids to play on. And for the adults, this was the first time single game tickets went on sale for the 2019 baseball season. Fans could also get in on some specials at the ballpark, including a 25 cent off sale in the Naturals team store. We get to see some of our ticket holders from last season. We get some new folks coming out. We get families, so it's always really fun. It's a, for us, it's kind of, you know, wakes everything back up and gets you really excited. Opening day is just a little over a month away on April 4th. We'll stick around. We'll check back in with meteorologist Melissa Hall for another look at your forecast after the break. Stay with us. Get the smile you've always wanted. Call DDS of Springdale today at 479-435-7100. Mattress King. Nobody beats the king. Where Arkansas buys temper. Last chance offer ends soon. Get a Sealy Posturepedic King or Queen for the price of a twin-size mattress of the same model. While supplies last. Nobody beats the king. Mattress King. I'm a club volleyball player, and I'm pretty good at it. I really like to run and get those tips up and stuff, but when my feet hurt, it just really is bad, and I can't get there because my feet are just this bad pain. I'm like, ow. So I told my mom. She took me into good feet, and I noticed that I've never really had the pain since then, so I really want to be on the women's national team, <laughs> and I'm pretty sure that good feet is going to help me get there. My name's Taylor, and that's my good feet story. See for yourself with a free personalized arch support fitting at the Good Feet Store. Our client, Janet, developed severe depression due to unforeseen events in her life. Her condition prevented her from continuing to work. Her life fell to pieces when she applied for Social Security Disability Benefits and was denied. That's when Cadell Rentals stepped in. We worked directly with her doctors and won disability benefits for Janet. If you need disability benefits, call us today for a free consultation. Call Cadell Rentals at 800-671-4100. 
coming up Sunday on the Pig Trail Show. We are stepping out of the studio and into the kitchen with Razorback Peyton Chadwick and one of her favorite recipes. And I promise it tastes amazing. Sunday night at 1030 on the Pig Trail. It's winter, Arkansas winter. Sweater weather one day and a snowstorm the next. But don't worry, our team has you covered. Dan Scoff and the Weather Authority team. Winter weather coverage on KNWA. Proudly sponsored by Collier Drug and Crane Automotive Team. Mattress King, nobody beats the king. Where Arkansas buys temper. Last chance offer ends soon. Get a Sealy Posturepedic King or Queen for the price of a twin size mattress of the same model. While supplies last. Nobody beats the king. Mattress King. Well, the same old, same old is not being overlooked today. That's because March 2nd is National Old Stuff Day. You would think that means you should cherish and celebrate your favorite old hat or pair of shoes, but National Old Stuff Day is about noticing all of the old stuff we keep around and taking a break from it. It encourages us to try something new and break out of old routines. So, Melissa, do you have any old routines you want to break? Yeah, you know, I drink too much coffee. I need to start drinking and more water and get that into my routine and my diet. I forget to drink water a lot, too. Yeah. I would say mine is making excuses for going to the gym or pressing my snooze button. <laughs> I don't press my snooze button, but I, I can find any excuse not to go to the gym. Yep, so it's too easy. It's way too easy. It's too easy. Well, we're going to have some winter uh, weather tonight. The yeah. advisory already just went into place at 6. It did. In all honesty, this forecast is not way too easy. You're going to need to get the NWA Weather Authority app because we are expecting 1 to 2 inches of snow to move in overnight tonight, especially north of um, the Bobby Hopper Tunnel. So south of it, in the River Valley, this mainly is going to be a rain event. But dangerous wind chills on the back side of this. That one to two inches of snow we're expecting tomorrow. While it does end early in the afternoon, it's going to have already done its damage. Temperatures fall through the day, and we're expecting it to impact the roadway. So check iDrive Arkansas. And like I said, make sure you have our app because it could stick around through Monday. We could have school closings. I am expecting church closings tomorrow. It's going to be one of those days where hopefully you can just stay inside with a warm bowl of soup and maybe. Maybe just get comfortable with a book or mm -hmm. find something to watch on TV because you're not going to want to get out. It's going to be brutal. A cozy Saturday night. Yeah. Well, we'll be tracking the winter weather all night tonight, uh, especially here. Stay with us at KNW News at 10. We'll keep you updated. Thanks for joining us.